This is Love the Games 97 here. Bring it. Don't get crushed. Oh, oh, oh. I should probably bring it. Oh, hello? Why am I here? What's up? My name is LoveTheGames97 and I'm bringing you some split seconds. Um, this is a racing game where, holy crap, there's a lot of stuff I still gotta do. Where you basically just, I just, I don't know, it's just, it's just basically racing, um, but with a twist. And I'll tell you that twist in a second. But this game offers several game modes. Um, and a variety of cars. I still haven't unlocked them all. I don't think so. But, um, a variety of twists where you get to blow up the map around your enemies to take them down. And with that, you gain, you know, positions. And drifting, drafting, doing all that special stuff earns you power points. And those can be useful. But holy crap. Uh, but not in some levels. It can be useful in others, but not some. This one, you just gotta stop passing. Oh my god, that's really loud. Ah! Let's turn that down next game. But you can, you gotta avoid these guys. And okay, I've actually gotta go and, um. Ah! Oh. That was deafening. Holy quep. <sighs> anyway. But as you can tell, it is quite visually impressive. I think it looks great. Um, it came out a couple years ago, 2011, I believe. I'm going to turn it down. What do I turn it down? There we go. You can have split second. Weird. Psst, I can't even tell the difference sometimes. But instead of doing that, since that's kind of chaotic <coughs> and loud, I'll show you a race. Now, let's see. What shall we do? Which one is has airport terminal? That's just like the like <laughs> Sorry if I sound so tired. Um, been busy with school. Tried going to prom, did not work out one bit. Anyway, that's besides the point. The point is, split second. I think is a fun game. I think. It is what it is, and it knows what it is. It knows it's a hectic racing game, and it knows that you want in the action. Now, let's see. Let's see if we can get going here. And it knows where it wants to be and how it wants to do it. Ah, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, stop it. Bully, that's what you are. Anyway, um, let's turn this way. As you can see, it power plays the trigger elements in the environment. The blue ones are level one, which is shown by the blue bar down below. But um, the red ones change map elements or do big changes, like blowing up a ship, taking down a airport. Please don't blow this up. Thank you. I'm trying to just drift randomly. Try not to crash. I'm trying to gain those freaking drift points. I'm in 8th place. Wonderful. But hey, I got this. I got this. <coughs> anyway, so basically now I got a moment to talk to you guys about the game and say why I think it's such a fun game. It's because like, like, like you just saw, you can bounce off the walls and it doesn't punish you too bad. Um, every once in a while, if you get hit by a weapon shock wave, and you bounce off the wall, you will crash. Other times, you will not. So, just the words of advice to power play. And like I said, power plays can trigger elements like this, where they blow up. 
a lot of people like holy crap I just blew up four and now I'm in second so I think it's a fun game you also get first person but not too immersive first person you know what I mean ow oh there's that bugger get him get him good I'm coming for you but yeah it's very fast paced um the higher quality levels that will add motion blur which the game options aren't much, but they're enough. It's got low, high quality, and all that stuff. It bounces out, out. Like, right now I'm on loan. You can't really tell. Right? Maybe there's no anti aliasing or something like that. Ah, I wish I had enough for that. <laughs> just... Please don't blow up the tower. Oh, I thought someone did. Nope. Little bugger. Mm. Let's see now. Um, the controls are very nice and very fluid. Drifting is relatively easy. And it gives you that nice little view every time you wreck someone that's out of your view a little bit. And it also gives you the instant playback feature. Which uh, helps when you wreck someone, but not when you get wrecked. Have some payback! I just love doing that. It's um, very satisfying, I will say that. The uh, crashes and the chaos with some of these bigger maps is very nice. And they also have these random helicopters floating about where they drop bombs. So that way, if you're about to lose, you can just drop a random bomb here and there. So it's nice. No one's done the big map changing event, which kind of depresses me. So uh, next uh, game, I'll try to do that for you guys. But... Oh, blah, blah. Stop drifting, holy! Um, let's see. You going? All right. Shit, she's a little bugger. Get out of here! Get out of here! Ooh, maybe I can do it. Yep. And then you get a nice playback. What will happen. And there's also another one where you can call in a cargo bomber. But I'll have to show you that next time because that is quite an awesome thing. Oh, I can't afford that. Aww. Open up, please. No. Okay. Man, that was a really crappy drift. Holy crap. But, um, yeah, sometimes the drifts do get out of control to where you're just sliding and you're not actually turning. But the brake... Don't you dare. Get out of here. Yes! Yes! Last minute win! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! Yes! Four minutes. That was nice. Um, but, yeah, sorry, I accidentally hit the uh, record button. Um... This game is just... I remember when it first came out, I was just like, I really want this game. And I played the demo so much on my Xbox 360. It even looked really good on console. But this game, sadly, is locked to 30 FPS. Right now, I'm recording at the highest FPS you can. There are some frame droppage here and there. But, let's see. <clears throat> Detonator. That's a good one. <clears throat> I gotta see which one this is. I can't remember. Which, which is this one's big map changing event? Nope. But yeah, detonator. Um, you do one lap, but things are being blown up all around you. So it does get quite annoying. Alright, I'm gonna go with you. Because you seem like the best candidate. Please don't fail me now. But yes, different cars, like the trucks, are meant for taking abuse. Smaller cars are meant for drifting, and faster cars are meant for just long stretches. They can't really take too much of a beating, but trucks can normally bounce off of stuff like that. So, um, I'll show you what happens when everything blows up around you when you try to race. But yeah, I, I noticed my Flat Out 2 video did really well, so I'm going to record one of those again. Let's see, hurrah. Um, okay, please don't drift. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Now let's see. 
As you can tell, I'm not racing against anybody. These are just being triggered around me. Which sucks because sometimes they'll just trigger the random helicopter. Okay, that was a really good drift. Because some of these you can't just floor, you've got to wait a second. And this one always goes off. Tunnels? Yep. Oh! I got you. Got you. You're not gonna get me. Oh god, here comes the airplane. Shit. Oh! Made it! Oh! God, every time that thing, I like hold my breath randomly for no reason. Like, I don't even know if it helps me or anything. I just hold. And I'll always bounce off of that part. How did this happen? Oh, this thing. Will I beat my record? No! Yes! I'm thinking. Yes! By a whole point three milliseconds. Oh, that was a really close call. Um, but yeah, this game has a lot of those close call moments where you just barely make it out alive. But it's a lot more fun online. And I'll try... Well, I don't know if it's fun online. On Xbox it was, because when this game first came out, there were a lot of people playing it. But yes, you like my name? It's a thing. to Steve here. And Larson. Top 10! Let's do a top 10 split second moments. Yeah. But this game came out a while ago and nobody gives a shit about it. Sadly. It's a really good game though. But yes, um, I'm going to be playing this a lot. I'm going to be uploading some Mountain Blade Warband. Um, yeah, let's see. Online. Oh. <sighs> Alright guys, I've after doing some research, it is heartbreaking to say, but the split second servers have been shut down. <sighs> Man, that's, that's just that's just depressing. But uh, yeah, it is still fun. Battle of Friend, head to head on the same PC? How is that even possible? I don't know, I'll have to try it sometime. Anyway, um, <laughs> they do have some extras. Like, what are my statistics? I've driven 156 miles. Oh, wow. Number of crashes. Ooh. Rivals wrecked. I like how it just has random shards of glass floating around. I love that. That's just... Ah, oh, I love this game. But yeah, I'm gonna try showing you the different graphics options. That was low. I don't know if you could tell the difference between low and high. But I'll show you high. I think the only difference is high adds motion blur, which my computer craps itself when games try using motion blur, sadly, until I get my new computer, which I plan to do this summer, so that way I can record 1080p with new monitor also. Um, so let's see, what's this one? Uh, I wish they had more customization options for gameplay, but they do not. Sadly, it is only low medium, high, or very high. I think this is also very low, I'm not sure. But yes, this game is goes on sale quite a bit. It was on sale for 10 or 5 bucks when I picked it up. I think 5 or 7. No, I paid, I paid full price for it because I couldn't wait. And of course, Gabe, Gaben, freaking puts it on sale a week later. Freaking wonderful. But yeah, this is Split Second, and I am Lovely Games 97 signing off after I show you the difference in graphics let's see as you can tell it is very laggy for me so I will let you guys go um, Lovely Games 97 signing off